Hey, how y'all doing? I'm just <laughs> yay! <laughs> I'm just gonna apologize right now. Like, um, I have a cold. Like, it's always funny because colds and allergies are pretty much the same thing. Like, only we use them for excuses for different things. Like, oh, I don't want to go out to the gym or exercise. I have a cold, but I want to share that hookah with you. So I just have allergies. <laughs> um, yeah, so sorry about that. Uh, but um, I'm 23, I just turned 23 this year, and uh, that's awesome. Yeah. So I pretty much have an excuse until I'm 25 to be a raging alcoholic. Yeah, like, uh, I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter, sir. Uh, but yeah, so, but, I'm, I, but I look really young. So everywhere I go, I get ID'd. So I like to do this thing to make sure that bartenders remember who I am. Like, oh my God, <laughs> these bathrooms remind me of the ones from summer camp. <laughs> Holy fuck, this shot was delicious. It tasted like Dimatap. <laughs> Could I just get like a chocolate milk, please? Is that cool? <laughs> um, but I think a lot of alcoholics, we all have this problem and it's, um, it's this voice in our head that tells us to just keep going. But like we always try to like, reason with this voice, like I'll say things like, all right, tonight I'm gonna be responsible. I'm only drinking beer. We're drinking vodka Red Bulls, bitch. Go hard or go home. All right, that's fine, but we're not gonna do any shots. Seven kamikazes later. <sighs> if I do one more shot, I'm not driving anywhere. That's okay, we don't have to drive. We can go home with that guy right there. Because she's a slut. Uh, she also tells me to do this thing that's send text messages during last call. Yeah. And the, the responses are always great. Like, I love it. Like, I'll get a call the next day from my sponsor. And he's like, Carrie, what's this text message about? I'm so drink right now. Can I come over? Bananas? You know, or my crush from the seventh grade when he texts me back, nope, gay then, gay now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> but my favorite is my Russian eyebrow lady, because she'll always give me the same kind of response, like at three in the morning, like, I'm so drink right now too, I love banana flavored vodka. she gets it like and I realize that I probably don't have a problem with uh, drinking so much as sending mass text messages for booty calls at last call you know hmm. <laughs> um, but I'm in college right now and uh, it's awesome because when I was younger I had these dreams and these goals and these aspirations of um, stripping my way through college <laughs> But, like, I know that's not going to happen now. Like, look at how wide I am. I need instructions to get through a dance. Like, <laughs> am I going to get naked to the hokey pokey? Probably, but not for cash. <sighs> I was at that same birthday party, Russ. I was there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, and I don't want to watch what I eat or do coke, you know? Like, when you're a stripper, you gotta be fit, and that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> and then, of course, I get cold really easily. Like, how am I gonna slide up and down a pole right here if I'm wearing my mittens? That's just not gonna happen. <laughs> you, you shut your mouth. You shut your mouth before I Eskimo kiss it. Uh, but right now, but right now I'm working for this mortgage company and uh, all of my previous experience in the, more, like, in the work world has been waiting tables. And that's so different. Like, uh, like I didn't even know mortgage had a T in it until three weeks in. <laughs> Did you guys? Like every time they were talking about a short sale, I was like, I love Banana Republic, let's do this. You know? But like waiting tables is so different because everybody knows waiters know where all the good drugs are, you know? But, 
But when you work in an office, like you always kind of have to be on your best behavior and there's always that lady that's like, oh my God, I'm such a caffeine addict. I'm so addicted to coffee. I've had three cups of coffee. Can you believe it? I'm such an addict. Judy, I know addicts. Have you ever let a homeless man come in your hair behind a 7-Eleven for a cup of fucking coffee? Me either, but it was a friend of mine and she went through a really hard time in her life and I don't think anybody here should judge her for that. <sighs> That's awesome. Um, where I go to school, it's actually, it's really Greek and it sucks because I haven't been asked to join a sorority yet. Sorority yet. Um, and when you're asked to join, it says something about you like, you know, you're cute enough, you come from a stable family, you think blowjobs are about quantity and not quality? be an excellent sorostitute. I mean, don't get me wrong. If they asked me, I wouldn't ever actually join one. I'm not stupid. I have a sister. She's a bitch. Why would I pay for 30 more? For life? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, high school is really hard for me, and I don't know if you can tell, but, uh, you know, a redhead, had braces. Everybody thought I was gay. Mm -hmm. uh, but mean girls were so mean like that was the worst part about it and they always made me think of like they were like the bitchy model types you know like maybe we write fire crutch on her locker no no Natasha we write dyke it's much better <laughs> that was awesome that felt really good uh, I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm single <laughs> obviously <laughs> Uh, I'm here, you know, I'm on stage and you're yelling shit at me, so couldn't do better. Uh, yeah, but has anybody ever had this happen where you yell out the wrong name during sex? Because I've never done that, but it happened to me last week <laughs> and it was super awkward. I'm going to preface this by saying my name is Carrie Smith uh, and so we're, we're all adults here. I'm just going to say it doing it, you know, because we're mature. And uh, so he yells out, fuck me, Alex. Whoa. Now, most chicks in this situation would say, who's this bitch, Alex? But my first thought was, is Alex a guy or a girl? <laughs> so he tries to make it better, and he's like, no, no, baby, no, no, baby. It's from a Cheech and Chong movie. Oh, so it's two dudes. Great, thanks, man. Uh, I always think it's really weird. Ladies, is it always awkward for you guys to ask for a tampon? Because I feel so awkward. And I feel like, like when you need one, you need one. So you're like running the bathroom. Bitch, you got a tampon? Oh, you will say, girl, come on, I'll do anything for a tampon. Oh, you got that pearl shit. You got that good shit, girl. <laughs> a panty liner? You holding that on me? I'll choke you, bitch. I will choke you. I'm going to end on these little gems. Um, has anybody ever taken a pregnancy test just to make sure you're just eating a lot of bread? <laughs> like, oh, just a food, baby. We're good. Um, I think... I think that a uh, plan B is a lot like a Z-pack for your vagina. And I don't think I really need to explain why babies are like the flu. They're gross. Um, this is my last one. Uh, and I am gonna get real with you guys. I am gonna be honest. Um, I, had a, I had a little bit of a scare. I, uh, I just found out that I'm actually two months pregnant. Yeah. because I had gotten my Xanax and my birth control mixed up. Yeah. So now I'm pregnant, but I don't give a fuck. All right, my name's Carrie. Thank you.